Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Matt Croissant at McCarthy Hyundai, Blue Springs, Missouri, getting you some information on this 2016 Hyundai Veloster. This is your entry-level model, coming with a nice set of large halogen headlights and some daytime running lights. You've also got nice alloy wheel set on here. Even on the entry-level model, you typically don't see that, so... Got some nice ride quality coming out of this vehicle with those alloys. It's a nice little hatchback vehicle. It's got a backup camera. You can see the rear glass is open up top as well as down below here. What makes the Veloster unique is it is designed with three doors, keeping the driver's comfort in mind. Giving you entry on the curbside for both front and rear passengers in this coupe-esque vehicle. So we've also got some nice breakaway mirrors here. Sorry, I didn't uh, get that finished or fixed before the video here. Again, up front, we got some nice, large halogen headlights for you. And inside, we're going to be seeing a nice black cloth interior with some sporty, bolstered seats. Check out the nice pinstripe on here, too. Brought to you by Hyundai. Got a nice little blind spot mirror here for you. Inside. We've got power locks, windows, and mirrors. Driver window is automatic. Got some storage in the doors here. Nice pronounced door handle here. We've got a six-way adjustable driver's seat with a nice seatbelt extender here. You can raise and lower, adjust your angle, and four and a half adjustment with the bar down below. Again, nice sporty, highly bolstered seats. Got the Veloster embossment here. Correct me if that was the wrong word. On the left-hand side here, we've got some dash illumination controls as well as an active eco button to maximize your fuel economy. Nice round steering wheel here with some paddle shifters included. Veloster is a, uh, a sporty vehicle, so they like to keep it that way here. Uh, over here to the left, you can see you can unlock this. Sorry for the light leak. We've got a nice tilting and telescopic steering wheel. We can move that up and down wherever you need that to be. Mounted on the steering wheel, we've got controls for your audio sources, volume, and changing your tracks and presets, answering and ending your phone calls, and using voice recognition. Cruise control on the right-hand side, all those buttons there for you. Uh, Left-hand one is going to control your blinkers, brights, and headlights. These are manually operated headlights, so you can see you've got a set of daytime running lights as well as the actual headlights here. Uh, to the right, you have front and rear wipers, which is pretty nice for this little hatchback here. And then on screen here, you can see we've got some uh, driving information such as the odometer, 97576, uh, your coolant temperature, as well as your uh, fuel level and your fuel range will be located here for you. I do not believe that this information can be changed as I'm not seeing any sort of information buttons. However, we will dig a little bit deeper into this vehicle. Up top, we've got some nice lighting controls, sunglass holder, standard rear view mirror for you. And then down below here, we've got a nice CD player. You've also got Sirius XM radio. The sound system is powered by Grace Note. You've also got Bluetooth available, of course, as discovered earlier on the steering wheel. Analog controls on the left and right hand side for you. Uh, here is your info screen. You can see uh, we can go through these different screens, checking out our different media sources right here. CD player, going back to the info screen. You can check out info on the vehicle as well as uh, Sirius XM. All of your radio stations will be here for you. And then some more for volume and tuning, seeking through tracks, connecting your phone. Down below is your uh, single climate manual temperature control system for the vehicle. Guys, okay, nice little Veloster emblem here in the middle. Hazard light controls, traction control. And then down below, you have a nicely sized power and storage center. We've got two 12 volts, a USB and auxiliary port, and some nice storage here. Um, to the left and right, you can see, um, come on, gimbal. There we go. You can route cables through here to keep them unobstructed from the shifting area. Shifter has park, reverse, neutral, drive, and why is my gimbal going crazy? Thank you. All right. Waste of money, I feel. Okay. Enough of my self-loathing here. Uh, you do have the manual shifting capability on the stick here. If you would like to use this, 
you can see your gear selection is on screen and you can also use the uh, paddle shifters to select that gear as well. So you can see being able to start in second, this manual shifting capability uh, can be used in the winter time as starting in second will have reduced torque output compared to your first gear. You've got a couple cup holders right here, dual level center console, nice little upper tray, lower deeper well for storage, glove box, has your owner's manuals inside, let my foot off the brake there. Okay, and that's going to be it for the front area. Let's not forget our visors. These are going to be mirrored. Have a card holder as well as an independent light here. And then they have a shade extender for this model. So you can reach the full length of this very long door. Bluetooth microphone. It's going to be right here for you. All right, and let's go ahead and take a peek at the backup camera real quick before we forget. You can see we've got full clear view of the bumper here as well as... Uh, some different guidance lines. This red line being about one and a half feet for your stop, three feet, five feet. Does not have projected pathing, so this is a static display. The vertical lines on the side will represent the true sides of the Veloster, so you can see um, if we were to back closer into this parking spot, as long as nothing is touching, those two green lines on the sides there as you're going back, nothing will impact with the vehicle. Let's go ahead and drive this forward again to finish our demonstration. All right, let's go ahead and check out our back seat as well as the hatch. Take note, you do have a nice little sound system in here. Tweeters, woofers, center speaker as well. You got some woofers in the back too. All right, so obviously we don't want to check out the back seat from here. Normally in these videos, I would, because there would be a door there. So. Let's wrap around to the hatch first. Got a release there. You have a tonneau cover back here. This is removable. You just take those off right there and it pops out right here. Got a nice set of all weather mats back here for driver and passenger front seating area. You can see you've got some nice cargo space down here, nice and recessed into the floor. Got a little handle here that we can pull those clips out of the way. This Veloster model does not come with a spare tire. So as you can see, we've got some roadside tools here, tow hook, screwdriver, and a nice little wrench here. Air compressor kit and a cargo net, some extra storage capability. Rear seats do still fold down in a 60-40 split for you, as you can see right here. We just look over the top. We've got a little handle here, and come on, Mr. Gimbal. We've got a handle right over here for you, too. If anybody's got some gimbal tips and tricks, please let me know. Uh, personally, I do want to throw this thing a lot. All right. So, moving on to the back seat here. You can see we've got a uh, personal rear passenger door on the curb side or right-hand side of the vehicle. All weather mats are already installed back here. You've got hardback seating with the cargo net back here. Uh, you do have a latch system for child seating back here as well as a couple of cup holders and a little bit of storage too. So this is a compact car. Take note, we've also got the woofers back here as well as some rear lighting too and some, uh, some hooks that you can hang some items off of too. But uh, other than that, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the Veloster here. Nice little compact car with a very unique and interesting design that is held up over time. If you'd like any more information on this 2016 Veloster, I highly recommend you head on over to McCarthyHyundai.com. Make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about any of the information provided to you today. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles we're uploading to this channel for your informational needs. We're going to be doing a lot of pre-owned later model vehicles as I am going through our entire pre-owned inventory. The information on new Hyundais is out there, so I'd like to get you guys information on some older vehicles that we may have missed over time. So thanks again, guys. Matt Persant, Parky Hyundai, Blue Springs. I hope you're having a wonderful day.